welcome back to Grandpa Reaction. We're back at it again with another Taylor Swift reaction. But this one's a little different, guys. We're going to talk about the Ticketmaster faces scrutiny from Senate after Taylor Swift fiasco. When she first put her tickets on sale on there and people were not getting tickets. They were giving them off to other people, you know. So eh, let's see what's going on here, guys. All right. Little bochinche. We call it gossip. But it's true. <laughs> it was the fan meltdown heard round the world. Ticketmaster's round massive the world. site crash during the fan pre-sale for Taylor Swift's Eras Tour sent Swifties into a frenzy and has sent Senate into action. Now the ticketing giant is the focus of a series of Senate hearings that start tomorrow that will put this company CFO on the high. And the thing is that this is not the first time it happened with Ticketmaster. It happened a long time ago, like in the 90s one time, I remember. They were in the hot seat too, so it's not the first time, you know what I mean? You know they're going to skyrocket those prices up. You know what I'm saying? Straight Absolutely. up like that. Armona Kosar Abdi looks at how we got here and what to expect. <gasps> From the you anticipation. Know, floor seats. Yo, she got floor seats. I seat. to tell you, I'm going back on tour. At least she got tickets. To the Taylor Swift just announced her tour. Everybody excited. I got tickets. She got tickets already. Taylor Good. Ticket update. I got them. Oh, she got them. Oh, daddy. Good daddy, guys. Come on now. The meltdown. The tickets you have selected have been released. Wow. <laughs> That sucks. And I waited in line for like six hours. And it's now the infamous Ticketmaster crowd. Yo, they're waiting in line like they're waiting for Jordans, right? That's crazy. That's tough, yo. Six hours waiting in line. And it's probably like two million people trying to get tickets and then see they get released. Come on, man. Ticketmaster, respond. You got you know what I mean? You would fall for this shit. For real during the pre-sale of Taylor Swift's upcoming stadium tour. The disaster last November left millions of fans not feeling all too well. You it oh, no. Too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No pun, no, no, no pun intended. This ticket master you heard that? crash during the pre-sale of Taylor Swift's upcoming stadium tour. The disaster last November left millions of fans not feeling all, all too, too well. well. That's dope. All too, too well. well. Oh man, no nah, 2000 plus now. Nah, that's like 2 million plus. The giant is facing scrutiny from not just Swifties, but senators too. I talked to Senator Mike Lee last night. We chair the committee on antitrust. Oh, Democrat. We are going to go ahead with the hearing on Ticketmaster oh, see. Um, it, this year. It the always Senate happens. The Judiciary Committee will host a hearing titled That's the Ticket, promoting competition and protecting consumers in live entertainment. Is you can't handle the heat, stay out the kitchen. Under the microscope, Ticketmaster's apparent hold on the industry. Ticketmaster currently controls more than 70% of the market for ticketing and live events. Ooh, Antitrust Chair okay. Senator Klobuchar explained in a statement that the committee will, quote, examine how consolidation in the live entertainment and ticketing industries harms customers and artists alike. Amy Klobuchar, a Democratic senator, has a long history of uh, antitrust mobilization, and this is something that they're, that she has been interested in for quite some time now. Jem Aswan, deputy music editor for Variety, says the issue may be far more complex than it appears. Ticketing is so complicated and so deep that you do wonder how much anyone can really get into the weeds on it, but I think that's what we're going to find out. The committee, <clears throat> but most of the time when people buy tickets, right, they're buying it from brokers basically because people get the tickets to sell them for more. So they put them online, they put them on Ticketmaster, StubHub, you know, what I mean, whatever, you know, and they sell them for bigger prices, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, is it the consumer buying the tickets and reselling them, or is it Ticketmaster itself, or what was it that? Or the servers couldn't handle it. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I think that whatever happened with the PlayStation 5 happened with the Taylor Swift tickets. And I, if you think about it, think about it real good. All right. Remember the PlayStation 5 when it came out? PS5. All right. We had people buying it for like 900, selling it for like 12, 1300. And the people were buying them because they wanted them. They wanted to be the first ones to have them. And the same thing I think is going on with the Ticketmaster. You know what I mean? It's like, yo. First come, first serve. We're going to give it to you. But so many people came that their site crashed. You know what I mean? Especially the scalpers. A lot of scalpers. I guarantee you that. 
Society's witnesses include Joe Birch told president and CFO of Live Nation, Live Nation. Entertainment, which owns oh, Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster yep. and the CEO of SeatGeek, one of Ticketmaster's biggest competitors. This won't be the first time the company has been in the hot seat. Back in 1994, Ticketmaster found See? themselves in front of a congressional. I remember because I went to a concert at the Moonlight Center, a Wu Tang one, a claim that we had problems denied. with tickets. The monopoly Whatever. issues have been going on for years and years. Monopoly. And years. Pearl Jam Ooh. took them before Congress. I remember it that too. Doesn't seem oh. fair to us the way a lot of things are done in the music industry. And <clears> Pearl Jam tried happen. to do a tour <clears> without <throat> Ticketmaster, couldn't, gave up. Since then, the company has only tightened its grip on the industry. You can't. You, you need Ticketmaster. That's the large seventy percent they own of tickets. Basically, they're selling straight up. Like that's insane. Like this should be. It's not fair. Basically, there should be other venues with like thirty percent, then thirty percent, another one thirty percent. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. That's insane. Now everybody went to flood Ticketmaster to get tickets for Taylor's Eras tour, and it just crashed. Like, come on, guys, step up your game, yo. You're a fucking billion dollar company. Easy. Three. Ticketmaster has been further expanding, merging with Live Nation. How are they allowed to do that? How is an interesting question. You know, I mean, there are always, with the way, of course, with the ways that laws work, people find ways around them. They own a lot of the entities that are involved, and that gives them an awful lot of muscle. Ticketmaster's parent company, Live Nation, defended itself in a November 19 statement, saying Live Nation takes its responsibilities under the antitrust laws seriously and does not engage in behaviors that would require it to alter fundamental business practices. They also said it has a significant share of the primary ticketing services market because of the large gap that exists between the quality of the Ticketmaster system and the next best primary ticketing system. Come on now. You crazy? StubHub is good, yo. StubHub, I got a lot of deals from them. Straight up. And there's SeatGeek. There's, a, there's plenty of them that you can get tickets from, guys. You know what I mean? And sometimes cheaper, too. You know? Just, I'm just saying, though. It's like, you know what? Fuck Ticketmaster. Simple as that. The company has pointed to the level of demand. You ruined Swift's people's lives because they couldn't get Taylor Swift tickets. Fuck the crash, you. Claiming that their website saw over 3.5 billion requests overwhelming the system. It's using it matter. You had like fifty thousand. This is a billion dollar company. To get through a door that would let five hundred people through, basically. So, how, what do you do about that? Many Swiss fans. You were get like more servers, more everything. With no. no answers. This broke a trust because it broke not just a trust between Ticketmaster and her. It hurt a lot of her fans. You can't look at Taylor and, and say. That she's just the artist, she doesn't have control. Yeah, she's Taylor she the businesswoman, she's Taylor the corporation. In the days after the meltdown, Swift said in a statement, quote, it's really difficult for me to trust an outside entity with these relationships and loyalties and excruciating for me to just watch mistakes happen with no recourse. There are a multitude of reasons why people had such a hard time trying to get tickets and I'm trying to figure out how this situation can be improved moving forward. As wow. the hearings unfold, as once said- The artist, coming from the artist herself. There any significant changes in the near future. There's no one who even comes close to Ticketmaster's strength, its reach, its muscle, its ability to sell the volume of tickets that it has to. You're talking about millions and millions. Yeah, but who gives them the tickets to sell, though? Right, guys? Like, who gives the Ticketmaster the tickets to sell? Like, if they're giving them the majority to sell, it's like, why don't you give it to, like, StubHub, you know what I mean? Or SeatGeek, you know what I mean? So they can sell, too. And you have multiple, a lot of people coming to your concerts. You know what I mean? Because Ticketmaster can't do everything at once. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people in this world. You know what I mean? Simple as that. I'm sure billions of people were trying to get tickets that day, but it's like, come on now. You're a billion dollar company. All right? Feed the billion, billion people. <laughs> Millions and millions of tickets, and nobody <coughs> else can do that right now. Um, and it would be years before anyone could. And other eager fan bases awaiting the announcement and ticket rollouts for highly anticipated tours hope they don't have to face the same crash. Beyonce hasn't toured for six years, seven years. Four years, And there's going to be an equal, enormous demand, and we'll see how much they've learned from it. Well, she went to Dubai, so. Uh. Ticketmaster or whomever else 
Has I don't have to get myself out there. solve this before Beyonce announces her tour. Because if you think the Swifties are bad, the Beehive, you don't want to mess with the Beehive. Ticketmaster, get ready. Come on now, what y'all think though about that? That little, that's like a little shade they threw at our girl T Swifty. You don't want to mess with the Beehive? Come on now. Uh, I don't know about that, to be honest. You know what I mean? Taylor Swift has been relevant for years. You know what I mean? Like I said, Beyonce haven't done nothing in a while. So come on now. Even though uh, you heard she got paid $24 million to perform at Dubai. Plus, she's on the screw with the LGBTQ community. You know what I mean? So I don't know what's going on there. Simple as that. But I appreciate y'all. Hold All on. Right, let's see if there's any more. Yeah, that was it about that. But I appreciate y'all. Something different from Taylor Swift. You know what I mean? All this scrutiny going on. We're the ticket master. So, like I said, though, I hope you got tickets. If you didn't, I, you know, I feel bad for you. You know what I mean? Simple. Because I didn't get tickets either. So, feel bad for me. And I appreciate y'all. If you're new around here, you know what you got to do. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, notification, bells on so you get all my videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace.